if you look at the history of, of the Saronia community around Fair Park, there have been a lot of promises that have been made, and quite frankly, there's been a systematic oppression of not just the neighborhood, but the people around it. Um, and in Dallas, there's a lot of great plans and a lot of great ideas. Um, whether it be the new deck park that's going to be being built by the zoo, that the philanthropic community is going to be being asked more money for, or other, other things. How does your plan, what I noticed was you have two boards. You have a board of directors and you have community advisors. Community advisors will not be able to have a voting, um, the ability to vote on major decisions. Is that correct? Okay, in that case, how can you ensure the community that every decision that your board will make will benefit the community? Um, and, and by benefit, I mean economically, um, socially, and other things like that. So the question, I don't know if you want to repeat that, in, uh, but let me take a quick example. Um, anyway. uh, you had two points. A lot of things, promises made. I'm here because I'm pleading for help and support for the Dallas City Council and Park Board. This is not going to happen if the City Council doesn't fund this and agree to a uh, foundation. It's not. I am a volunteer trying to make this happen, but if they don't want it, fine. Uh, that's fine. Now, as far as the board is concerned, the, um, I believe strongly in a board that's efficient, and so if you get too many people on the board, you don't have a, you don't have a cohesive group. But as I've said, uh, and repeated to the park board and to others, the, the advisory board and the full board will meet all at the same time. They will be sitting all around the same table. Uh, my past history has been to work with consensus on the North Central Project. We looked at 128 alternatives, and uh, we narrowed it down to one alternative, which you were driving on today. I never called for a single vote. We try to get people, all of the folks together, in consensus. And that's my commitment. But on the other hand, I, I, it would not be functional to have 21 person board, but I wanted to have more representation from the community and the historical community. Let me, Can I just make one suggestion? Sure. Yeah. My suggestion is that there's something called an equity impact assessment. It's being used in school districts around the country, and what it does is ensure that your board of directors makes sure that every decision they make goes through a process in which you can see that decisions are being made equitably and for the benefit of the community and the, the students in that district. I suggest that if you plan to back somebody, and I know this man has done a lot of great work in the city, and there's a lot of other ideas that are out there, I suggest whichever idea you support, that you demand that they use an equity impact assessment to make decisions that will affect your community. It is the only way that you can ensure that your community will be served. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you. Good morning.